Getting the actual applications that you want on your computer can cost a ton of money. So in this video I'm going to show you some free web app alternatives that can save you thousands of dollars. For all the links used in this video, please click on the URL that's in the video description. The first web app I'm going to show you is called Google Docs, and it's a good alternative to Microsoft Office. It has a word processing application, a spreadsheet application, and a presentation application. And you can upload Microsoft Office documents directly to it and edit them from within your browser and save them from within your browser as well. So it's a, it's a good way to have Microsoft Office without actually purchasing Microsoft Office. Now I said that Google Docs had a presentation program but a better one that's more similar to PowerPoint is found at Prezo.com. It allows you to create presentations from right within your browser and save them to to your computer and you can also upload PowerPoint applications that you created from within Microsoft Office and edit them from within this application as well so it's a, a very good alternative and you can create the applications and save them right online now the next web app I'm going to show you is called SplashUp.com and it's a good alternative to Adobe Photoshop and it has a lot of the same basic features such as creating layers and adjusting transparency so it's it's very good for graphic artists and things of that nature and along those lines a good alternative for Adobe Illustrator is found at aviary.com not only does it have a graphics editor and a color editor but you can also create vector graphics with this application as well and that's very good for people that are in creative design, uh, designing web applications and illustrations and things of that nature. And if you want some tutorials uh, uh, for these different, some of these different applications, you can visit Mike the DJ4's YouTube account because he suggested a lot of these free web apps. Aside from the vector graphics creator, there's also a visual laboratory called Peacock within Aviary that allows you to generate some very cool textures and shapes and color designs uh, just by dragging different boxes onto the, uh, onto the field here and just attaching them to each other, filtering them through each other and then adjusting the properties. So it's a great way to generate backgrounds and designs. Now if you're a flash animator, the best web app uh, alternative for that is called Ajax Animator. And uh, uh, as you can see here, you can add different, th different uh, layers to the timeline and you can create different shapes uh, on the different layers and then skip to a different uh, frame within the timeline and move the shapes to a different uh, area from within the layers and then once you go to play it it's going to animate it it's it's very similar to adobe flash in that respect and you can also publish these as flash objects to embed within your website now if you use instant messenger a good website to go to is mebo.com because it allows you to sign in to any of your instant messenger programs from within your browser without having to download anything now if you do a lot of screencasts like I do, a good alternative for Camtasia is called ScreenToaster.com. And not only does it record your desktop, but it can also record your webcam as well as your microphone to, to create online pre uh, presentations and webcasts. And it records in high definition and you can upload them directly to YouTube. So it's, it's a very good application. If you go to jcut.com, you can find a good alternative to Windows Movie Maker. In fact, I think it's a little bit better because it has uh, it, it it can support uh, two different layers of videos instead of one layer of videos where you have to post them one after the other. You can post them one on top of the other, and uh, it also has good a good selection of transitions and effects, and you can also import music and photos. Now if you use Quicken to manage your budget, a good online alternative is found at Mint.com. I can't show you any of the features without exposing my account, but it's a good way to keep track of your money. And if you do any faxing, which is kind of rare nowadays, FaxZero.com allows you to send free, two free faxes a day with a maximum of three different pages. And if you uh, edit PDFs, any a good alternative to Adobe Acrobat is PDFescape.com. It allows you 
to add text and edit uh, uh, PDF documents and you can also append, move and adjust current uh, PDF, uh, PDF documents as well. So that's it for this tutorial. For more go to Tinkernut.com.